there, how are you guys? My name is Danielle Nicole. If you're new here, welcome. Today is a very fun and exciting day. Kim from A Girl on Her Phone is hosting a wonderful collab of your favorite Instant Pot meals. So we've had so many subscribers, all of us YouTubers, ask us for more Instant Pot recipes. And so you're gonna get them today. There's gonna be several people. I would like you to check out all of their channels in the description box below. Go visit their channel, see what recipes they made, subscribe, give them a little subscriber love, and get to know some new YouTubers. Um, so you're going to have a wonderful opportunity to get some new, healthy, and easy Instant Pot recipes. So Kim, thank you so much for hosting this. This was a great idea. This is going to be so popular, and this is going to be so helpful to so many people out there, including myself, because I have an Instant Pot I barely ever use, and so I could use some coaching and some assistance myself. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Danielle Nicole and I follow the WW Purple Plan and I'm trying to lose weight and get healthy and lower my blood pressure, just overall be healthier. And so come along with me if you're new here, I'd love to have you with me on my channel. Every single Sunday, I do Sundays with Danielle, which is just some kind of easy meal prep. I try to make things very simple with as little ingredients as possible. I also do weekly weigh-ins, lots of tags, grocery hauls, and different topics that come up from time to time. So I try to make my channel to be uplifting and encouraging as much as I can. I'm, I'm a mother of two girls. Lauren and Ava, they are 12 and 14. I've been married for 17 years to my husband, Bill, and I am a full-time geriatric social worker. So I'm very busy trying to lose some weight and get healthy, and the struggle is real with the rest of you guys out there. So come along and join me if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you a part of my family. So today we're gonna make a very simple and easy recipe, which is what I always make on my channel. This is an Instant Pot black bean soup. It's for two servings. So many of you out there may really enjoy this because it's only two servings. Many of you out there don't have um, you know, a large family at home and you don't like to make these big recipes. This one's for you because it's two servings and we're gonna be making Instant Pot black bean soup. Simple ingredients. Um, we're gonna start off by putting all the ingredients in this food processor here just to smooth it out and then we're gonna cook it in the Instant Pot just for a couple of minutes. It's very, very quick. I love black beans. This was very simple, so that's why I grabbed this recipe. So these are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some chicken broth. I'm using the fat-free reduced sodium broth. You're gonna need one can of black beans. I'm using reduced sodium because I have blood pressure issues, so I'm trying to be careful with my salt. A little bit of salt and pepper you can add. Some cumin. You're gonna be using pico de gallo in this. So I got this from Trader Joe's, and this is gonna give all the flavoring of the onions and the tomatoes and fresh flavor into it. You're gonna need some garlic, and believe it or not, you're gonna need a little bit of red wine. So we're gonna take all of these ingredients next, place it in the food processor, schmooze it up, put it in the, in the Instant Pot. If you have an immersion blender or a blender, that should be fine as well. Try that, not everybody has one of these food processors. So use what you have, be creative. Um, and let's get started to make an easy, healthy bean soup. All right, let's make this black bean soup. Um, I've got this food processor, processor here I got for Christmas last year. It, it does not say to drain it, no? I'm just making sure it doesn't say to drain it. Usually I always have to drain everything for Weight Watchers. Okay, we got our beans in. A little bit of vino, fourth of a cup. We're gonna pour that in. That might make it interesting. One large clove of garlic. It's got the minced here. A little bit of cumin. It says three-fourths of a teaspoon. I'm just gonna kind of wing it a little bit. That looks good. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt because I don't, everything is reduced sodium. And a little bit of pepper, I like pepper. And you can always add more salt or pepper later. Here's our chicken broth. I think it was a half a cup of the chicken broth. And our pico de gallo from Trader Joe's. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, their pico de gallo, I get it every single time. You know what, if you can't find pico de gallo, I think some kind of home style salsa might work fine as well. I mean, it's gonna be similar. So use what you have, don't go crazy. All right, let's see if I can work this baby right. Let's see. We're gonna just pulse it now and make it smooth. All right, and I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, guys, had a little problem with my food processor, missed a part. I never use it, so there we go. So we're gonna pulse it up for just a second and make it smooth. Here it goes. All right, and I'll show you that. We've got our 
Instant Pot ready to go. And here's our soup. I've got it pureed. Let me pour it in without knocking the stuff all out. I left it a teeny bit chunky. Leave it how you like. This looks super good. I think that Pico de Gallo is gonna be the secret little thing for it. And we're only cooking this for two minutes. That is it. Let me see if I can get this lid on right. I always have trouble with this. Oh, let me see if I can get this lid. Oh, this happens to me every time. Oh, real life cooking. Okay, we got our Instant Pot here. We're gonna cook for two minutes on high pressure, and then we're gonna do a quick release where I'll be pushing this button to get all the steam out. So we're gonna do pressure cook, and we're gonna do pressure level, we're gonna do high, and then we're gonna bring it down to two minutes. And there it goes. All right, I'll let you see it when it's all done. All right, it's been cooking for two minutes. We're gonna do a quick release, hit the button, make sure it's away from the light and we're gonna let it all come out. All right, guys, black bean soup is all done. I did the quick release on the Instant Pot, let out all the steam. You can have black bean soup in no time. There are two servings per this recipe, which is nice for some people that don't wanna make a big batch for it. And let me go over the points. It is six points if you're on the green plant and only one point if you're on blue or purple. I topped mine with just a little bit of avocado and a little bit more of the pico de gallo. So just to get ex add some extra flavoring to the top, and this is just a wholesome way to have some black bean soup and make a little small portion of it because not everybody in the family always likes beans, but my family does, so I'm in luck. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this simple recipe. Kim, thank you again from a girl on her phone for hosting this collab. This is so much fun. I definitely need to learn a lot about how to use my Instant Pot, and so I am looking forward to watching all these videos and um, becoming an Instant Pot, um, you know, just not being afraid of it anymore like some of you out there. And please don't forget to go and check out all the channels below, learn new recipes, learn more how to use your Instant Pot. Who couldn't use that? And you guys have a great day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.